rest of the day. So, um, and then make sure your valve stems straight too. You don't want it sticking out at a funny angle or anything like that because then you're going to ride on it, it's going to move, and you're going to get a flat tire again. Do the uh, cartridges, they get really cold? Yes, that's just CO2. Okay. That's just the compressed so air. Yeah. Sure it's like, have you ever used that dust on that, or something? Well, that but, or, you know, have you ever used that duster for your computer? Yeah. Well, that stuff's really cold. It's just compressed air, and that's just how it. And also, with the CO2, it leaks out of the rubber faster. So, you know, you're going to have to go, and the next day, you're going to go to this thing, and you're going to feel, you know, it's going to feel squishy. It's not that you have a flat or you fixed it wrong, um, unless it's all the way flat. But these will, you know, this will leak, you know, whereas the you know, air pressure will go 5 pounds, this may go 20 in a day. So you're gonna go the next day and you're gonna feel like you you've got a, it's just it's really squishy. Like I said, just air it back up with normal air. You can even let the CO2 out and then put regular air back into it and um, set. What's the shelf life of those? Uh, years. Yeah. 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 Years, I imagine. I don't know. I've never, so. never really. <laughs> I guess I've never, you know, I've never been asked that. I think it's like a Twinkie. You know, it doesn't really have a shelf life on it, so it's. <laughs> And then also, um, they also make what's called a Presta adapter. I don't know if anybody's ever bought one and owns them. Um, it basically turns your Presta valve into a Schrader uh, valve, the tip of it. That way, say you're out and you're at a gas station. You know, gas stations don't have anything for a Presta valve. Um, they're a dollar. I carry one in my, in my seat bag when I have it, just in case. They're a dollar have, for a pack of five at your shop. Are they? Yeah. Well, $1.99. Yeah, two bucks for five of them. I mean, one in every glove box. Exactly. And, you know, I would, like I said, I keep one in my seat pack. That way, if I'm out of CO2s, you get another flat or anything, you know, you have it there just in case. It's tiny, so it doesn't take up any room whatsoever. Um, and what did you say it was? It's a Presta adapter is what it's called. Um, yeah, it fits. What it does is you, 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 thread, it, you thread it on yeah. to, the, to the end here, and it... Basically, like I said, it turns this Presta valve into a Schrader valve. So it will fit onto a Schrader valve pump. That way you can go to the gas station and air up your tire. You know, if you've just got a mini hand pump, or you, you, know, you get a flat in a town because you know, towns don't sweep the, the streets very well. They've got a glass bottle after Friday night, after, you know, or game night. You, know, you ride through downtown and <laughs> people have been drinking all night long. It's, you know, there's glass bottles, so. And you put that, you put that on the... It threads on first before you put it on. Well, you would you would unthread the little nut here. See how this nut threads on like that. Right. So then you would you would unthread that, thread the Schrader with the the press adapter on, and then air it. Um, and this, it doesn't make a huge difference if it's closed, so it's not necessary if you know, unscrew it, you know, and then put it back. You can leave it on if you want to. You know, it's it's not something that you're going to need to uh, take on and off and on and off. All over the place. Exactly. You know, you lose it, you run and grab a new one. So it's not like you're making it. It's not like you're making a huge investment into uh, something. Nobody's going to cry over a, a lost, you know, pressed adapter. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. It's very easy. Again, if you're from a tree, or you got you know a friend, or you've got you know, you're you're upside down, kind of take the derailleur and you can pull on the cage, and it'll give you some chain slack. Loop that around the lowest cog. The back end. Make sure it's centered in your brakes. And, you know, you're, you're good to go. You know, my bike didn't break when I started out. I shot up. <laughs> so you, you, you just you, you put that wheel on there, and then you just put your uh, clamp. Uh, yeah, I, I always have to tighten well, my clamp. I've got the uh, with because because of race a lot. Um, the rear end of the bike, they've got what's called lawyer tabs on the the fork. And a lot of bikes have them on the uh, the back here, and that will prevent the wheel from. If the quick release does come undone, it'll prevent it from falling out. 
got rid of mine just because in a race situation, you know, when if the mechanic needs to get me a wheel and I got a flat tire and I need to get back up to the group, this way I can drop that quick release out, that wheel flies out of the, the bike, you know, and I'm good to go. You're talking about that small protrusion that's on the Ford. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I haven't gotten rid of them on this because this isn't my race bike, but uh, okay. yeah, because you normally have to unthread that a little ways. Yeah. There is, you can see them, yeah, they're just little finger tabs on the ends of the fork. And that allows, like I said, you know, say that quick release comes undone, the, the wheel won't fall out, and you won't put a fork in the ground and need to go to the dentist. I've always, uh, always understood there's a, there's a certain direction you want that, uh, you want that clamp arm to well, you, face. You can either do it on mine, I always just put it up or in line with the fork. You can also I'm looking for aerodynamics. Yeah. <laughs> back. A lot, you know, and I mean, you can do it, you know, or, or facing back. Um, you don't want it down, and you definitely don't want it, you know, you run it like that. Well, you run it like that, you go off the side of the road, and there's a tree branch sticking out. It will grab, you know, and then you're, yeah, exactly, then you got your, you know, you got your lawyer tabs on, you're, Luckily, during races, we don't have many tree branches sticking out on the old road, so not to, say, not to say it doesn't happen, but you know, it does. I have a question about the spare tube. Mm -hmm. um, knock on wood, I haven't had a flat in a really long time. There you go, Paul. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so the tube I have back there is like five years old. Is it, it, does it just burn it? After five it? years old, I'd probably replace it. Um, in the... Uh, in the tires, you know, if you've, if you've kept them aired up and you've kept them flexible, and say you've had the same tube for five years, if the tire's starting to dry rot, replace the tube. Um, <laughs> but if the tire, you know, the tire is fine, you, the tire off, you, put a new tire you know, then I'm talking you know, about the one underneath the, the one, Yeah, so. I would. I've never actually heard of anybody have not having a flat in five years. I know, so you're, I know. You know, I'm doing. <laughs> you're going to get one, but. Um, uh, I would I would just get a new one. Okay. Like I said, they're inexpensive and yeah, <laughs> Keep hang it up on the wall, you know, and then because the the day you put the new one in there, you're gonna go out for a bike ride and you're gonna need to use it. Is what's gonna happen. So, um, and then you can also when you're done, you know, fixing the flat or airing up the tires, you can check your tires. You know, it's something that's easy to do. You don't want you want to look for slices, gashes. You also want to look to see if the thread is showing on the side. I actually brought one. A tire that's bad, so you can kind of see what it's Find it here. Um, yeah, yeah, show it, buddy. Okay. See how the rubber's coming off the edge there? Yeah. You don't want that. That's that's a sign that your tire is <laughs> on its way out. It's yeah. starting, the threads are starting to show. That's just the case, that's the inner casing. To the tire, so it's not like the you know it's not like the tube's gonna fling out of there in the time series, but I mean you can see I mean, how the rubber's gone and starting to show the threads <coughs> on the side of the tire, and it's starting to dry rot. It's very it's like that. You definitely like that. That's, not, that's, that's a tire you're gonna corner on. And,